Hey indie lovers, welcome back to the Indie Buffet and today we're checking out the Noble Fates. Now this is a game that I have been actually checking out for the last couple weeks. I got an email from a very good friend that I ended up saying, hey, do you want to check out this game? And I'm like, yeah, I'd love to check out this game. And they're like, okay, cool. I'll send the code over when you get a chance. And they sent it over the next day and I was like, cool. And I, I wanted to look into this game, but I wanted to get closer to when it was actually going to get released. I, I like to do that most of the time. I, I don't, it's not that I don't like playing the games ahead of time because we just did Aqua but Agua Marine, which is a game that's not out due out until 2022. It's just that sometimes I like to get a little closer, uh, get the patches out there, because I know the games like to put out patches before then and all that stuff. So Noble Fates is a super cool, as you see, it, it reminds me a little bit of RimWorld in a sense, because your colony is trying to survive. So the really cool thing about this one is your colonists actually have like a long memory. Uh, they have opinions. You can kick them out of the colony. There's like events and you can actually go into first person and control your ruler to make decisions in that situation. So you can go out and go hunting with your party, go defend the castle as you see this little castle on the hill and just go do a whole bunch of things that it, they seem really, really cool. I know there's a giant demon that you can summon too as well. I haven't actually seen the type of giant demon summon, but I know he is a crazy man that's going to destroy the pretty much your all your walls oh you also get evaded uh kicking people out might have a massive morale uh situation at your home so you might end up seeing where you kicked out bert and bert didn't like or ernie didn't like it so you know bert went off and made his own kingdom and now made his own army and now is attacking ernie's like ah i'm gonna help bert and you know like cool little politics that make these games really cool so if you want to check this game out this game is coming out in the next couple couple days um, the top of my head, I can't remember the name, the thing is 14th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll double check right now. I don't want to, I don't want to tell you the wrong name, but if you want to check it out, I'll have the link down below. And I also have links to my live channel, which I do tend to play all these games, uh, live as well. Uh, every single night. So I type in noble fates and I got noble gases. Cool. Okay. So noble fates is coming out. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Noble fates. If you click on the steam review, the steam review says December 14th. So I was right. Yep. So I'll have a link to, to the Steam review, or the, sorry, the Steam uh, link down below. And also, again, links to all the Discord, the Patreon, anything like that. If you want to support the channel, that's the best way to do it. Hit the hit the Twitter, follow the Twitter, follow the channel, follow all that stuff. It really does help in the long run, um, especially because we're pushing partner, be able to start monetizing these videos and start being able to maybe bring some more reviewers, bring, you know, bring more indies onto the channel. There's a lot of ideas, but first we have to get to certain levels before we can start getting those ideas going. So everything helps. Patreon helps a ton. Patreon actually helps a massive amount. Um, and uh, subscribing to the channel, being a subscriber, viewing the videos, being a part of the viewership, because it's like, what, 30,000, 20,000, 10,000, I, I don't remember, live hours and a thousand subscribers. So you have to have all those, uh, all those, and you have to have a bunch of watch. So it, it, it's interesting. But with that being said, let's go ahead into the game. Let's get a new game. And I like usually doing like first impressions of these games. Sometimes you'll get a game that I've already had a really good idea in, but I usually do tend to watch the preview videos and all that stuff for the game. So I do get a kind of a small inkling of what the game's going to be like, but I like to be just as surprised as you are. In a far, far away land, mortals vie for control over a physical plane of existence. Oh yeah, if I remember many, I think you're, I think you're actually, I think you're orcs. Or maybe you're mixed. I'm not sure yet. I know that the people that I've seen are orcs. So maybe, maybe you're all orcs or I don't know. A collection of gods govern this place, striving for balance and sharing their powers with those they deem worthy. That little Hercules figurine. I like that little crone. Why is the, wait, wait, why is the crane spitting fire? And then a little, oh, that's cool. That's actually what I drink out of. Oh, there we go. Then it sends other planes stick their hands and claws in for anything from pleasure to power, support to domination. You are a Contra, a demigod with the power to influence and control mortals. Oh, so I'm a demigod. Okay. No still novice, you seek to earn lasting recognition through the creation of the mightiest of all kingdoms. Oh. Okay. You haven't had much luck so far. Uh oh. Does that mean I'm. Yeah. Oh. Wait, is that me? <laughs> it's so boring here. My name's Kern. Feels like I've been stuck in this smelly course for ages. Who knew the oblivious zombies were so skilled at archery? 
Wait, someone's coming. Recently, four immortals, Joan, Tree, Woods, and Balmy, deserted the elven graves to seek a new beginning. With your help, one will be crowned king or queen of the new kingdom this very day. Joan, pro prospective doctor. Tree, why did you leave the elven graves? Novus Tamer. I couldn't stand that Senator Bunk said that swords are crooked. Pers oh, prospective tamer again. Swords are the best ever. My problem is that Senator Bunk said saying that mining is awesome. I mean, mining is pretty awesome. And a budding ranger. Wouldn't a budding ranger kind of be a tamer too? Don't they kind of tame? Do that kind of thing? Novus Tamer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? Looks like we inherited a crown. Who will wear it? As a contract, you get to choose who will lead your new kingdom. Oh, you'll have a special connection with your ruler, including the ability to control them directly. Choose wisely. Those are those with strong negative feelings towards your new ruler will not join your kingdom. But don't worry too much about it. Mortals are replaceable. <laughs> oh. So let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. That, oh, look at all these skills on the side. Okay, so a bunch of skills on the side. So I hover over Balmy, who's a budding ranger. Ruler, Balmy. Nobles, tree, and woods. Nobles, is that like... Are nobles your... Your friends? Or are they just friends or something? Uh, building, Balmy. Cleaning, tree. Cooking, woods. Crafting, woods. Farming, tree. Foraging, tree. Oh, so those are... those are Okay, so if I select him, those are the job assignments that I'm going to be doing. Balmy in general... The Balmy General is good at hunting, good at lodging, good at crafting. His strong opinions. He loves raw beef, but he hates raiding. Uh, his weaknesses are mining, foraging, and hauling. Oh, okay. Well, let's check out woods here. Building, cleaning, and mining are his weaknesses, but ranching, crafting, and cooking, and swords and axes are amazing. He loves them. Neutral and male. Neutral male, neutral male. I think they're all neutral, right? <clears throat> strong opinions. Underripe meal. <laughs> Visiting shoes and cooked orc. Oh, God. Hmm. So that's the doctor. I like the doctor as a thing. What does a tamer get? Really ranching? Does that mean that he gets a team stuff? Hmm. I'm thinking the ranching is name. Look how big this ranching. I feel like Woods could end up taming like a dragon or something, but he hates mining. Hmm. He loves cooking though. Whatever, I can have people mine for me. Yeah. Woods, really? I won't follow you. What? No, let me think somewhere. Wait, oh. So that's who would be following me, and then Balmy would be against me, I guess, maybe. So your kingdom is the left. So I'd be great at lodging, great at mining, great at foraging, great at cooking. I mean, do I really have to worry about Balmy? I mean, I'm not really worried about Balmy. Let's get rid of Balmy. Uh, that's a stupid name, anyway. He doesn't like raiding anyway, so I'll take it. Yeah, ruler, ruler woods, y'all. Hence, call me Czar Woods. All hair, Czar Woods. Hail. As my first act, defeat Balmy. <laughs> we shall be known as the Clip Zips. Wait, what? Shall your kingdom be go by Clip Zips? No. No, hang on. That's not it. We shall be known as. The venomous goblets? No. no. Hang on, that's not it. We should be known as the thumb cups. Oh, that's kind of nice. No. The finger floppers. That doesn't sound right. The poor blokes? No. The flip fireflies? No. The binging butchers. I could go with the binging butchers. Fine. I'll see. I see how it is. That rock over there would make a better ruler. Yeah. Attack him. Yeah. Uh. Uh, as my first order, kill him because he's obviously attacking your king. One second, mommy. Reactions: Joanna won't like it. Sarwood's tree, double, triple. No reactions if without supplies. I could detain him, but Sarwood's and tree would not like that. You may leave, but the supplies are ours. Yeah. Peace. Fine, take them. Yeah, bye. See, Johan likes it. 
See? See ya. Adios. They're over here cheering for it. Noble Fates includes a guided experience to help new players start a kingdom that is more likely to succeed. With it, your kingdom will experience a soft ramp into the normal experience as you progress over the first hour or so. Oh my god, first hour or so. Her. This is your first time playing. We're making that you start with it. It's, you can turn it off later in the options menu. Yeah, let's do a guided experience so we get an idea. WSD move. Wheel. Rotate. Cool. I like the top down. Uh, are we gonna... Woods. Swords are my liking. Okay, woods. Needs. Jobs. Firefighting. Nursing. Opinions. Relationships. Dislikes. Senator Bunk. History. Properties. Okay. And Siri decided to come say hi. So let's pause this for a second. There is definitely a way... Space resume. Nice. Okay. That's the second tutorial. We need woods build shelter, chummer. Of course. To start, I've marked a few tree nearby trees. Issue the cut command and we'll take them down. Oh. Select highlighted trees. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and five. I wonder why I specifically chose this tree and not like this tree next to him. So let's cut. You know? I can't speed up the time. So tree's gonna go gather. How ironic. That's a cow. We'll need shelter if we want to survive, fair leader. Makes sense. If you lay out the plans for building, I'll build it. It's probably best to start modest. Something that's a 4 by 4 That'll give us space for our stuff and some beds. Can I build a shelter anywhere? Okay, cool. Activate the build tool. Structure. Floors. Wood. 4x4. Four four. So, I think near the water is probably going to be the best, right? Probably on top of this hill, though, because I feel like the higher up is just going to be a better def defense spot, right? Oh, I actually like that interface there. That interface was super nice. <laughs> Structure, walls, wood. Place walls around floors. Okay. Is it going to give me the option to do a door? Okay, place door. There we go. Door, wood. Door right here. Place roof. Oh, I gotta place the roof? Uh oh. Roofs. Straw. Oh, that was actually really easy to use. It was literally just a click and drag. And it's so nice. Wrap up shelter. What is wrap up shelter? Visibility. Roofs. Oh, I like it. Can we speed this up a little bit? Oh, ding, 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 ding. Gather mineral times eight. Build times 47. Cut times two. Clean times one. Control the flow of time. I mean, that's what I'm doing. One is the slowest. Four is the fastest. Two is back to normal. Cool. I like the fastest right now. <laughs> Johanna joined the binging butchers. Wait, what? Wasn't she already part of the binging butchers? Build beds for your people. There, furniture, beds. Yeah, this is, start, this is starting off like, uh, just like Rimworld would. I love it. Let's go there. Didn't need, like, space? Uh. Select place for bed and press rushed. Oh. Oh, they have a lot to do. I should probably get these these down too. Just so I have enough wood for everything, you know? Yeah, let's go. Let's do all that stuff. There we go. So I had the stuff ready to go. Because I feel like I don't have enough wood to be able to build everything. That's why they're like not building. 
I like that how easy this interface is. This interface is super easy. Yeah, look how easy this was to just select and make that. I love that. That was so cool. Okay, I think that gave us enough wood. Uh, we have enough beds. Oh, they have little torches. Oh, there's our inventory. Left click stockpile tools. Choose add. Left click drag place stockpile. Oh yeah, this is giving me major RimWorld vibes right now. But like its own style. Allow items. I guess allow all. Yeah. Is everyone over here sleeping? Guys, you have beds. Why are you guys sleeping over here? Everyone's over here. And we have, yet yeah, we have this beautiful home. Oh, look at the little faces up here. That's super cute. Choose lighting from building. Choose walls. Choose torch. Can I like put a, oh, I can put a torch on the actual, okay. I can put a torch on the door. I don't know if I can actually put a torch on the door. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's probably actually, they actually don't mean that. Tree can level up. Wait, what? What do you mean tree can level up? Wait, they have levels in this game? Okay, talk about RPG aspects. Oh, he's level four now. Max health plus six. Melee plus one. Cooking plus one. Nursing plus one. Farming plus one. That is very cool. I love that. Oh, I love that a lot. I really like the graphic style too. I know that sounds a little weird. I like, like it's like Minecraft, but a little better because they actually have corners and edges. <laughs> you know, I do like that you have a slow speed too. So if you have a fight, I can literally go into slow speed and uh, start with my tactical perversion. You know what I mean? All right. Where do we drop off by the way? I'd like to find out where we drop back. I wish I had a, like a little mini map, but maybe they'll introduce that during the um during the tutorial here. I don't know where I dropped off. I want to find my stuff and see if I can't select it to be dragged. Oh, there we go. Uh, store. So I can rush the store command. Love Sars Woods. Loves themselves. Loves themselves. Awesome. Love it. Where's the timer? Bottom right? Oh, yeah, look at that. It's almost midnight. 13 degrees. This is a really useful little. This is like a really useful little tool in the corner. I love games that give you the, just the ease of like looking down here and going, hey. It's the first day of 367. Okay, so there's Tree. There's Johan. You can see that they're sleeping. Woods is... Oh, it tells you where he's going, too. Super simple. They're just trying to make this game as simple as possible. Like, simple as in knowing what's going on. You know what I mean? Love swords, love boars, love gauntlets. Likes likes himes, likes helmets, likes cooked imp. Dislikes deer, dislikes cosses, dislikes hats, bambrises, cooked pork. Oh, my God. He likes just as much as he dislikes. Loves himself. Dislikes Senator Bunk. So he has a quip torch. So he has a quip torch. Uh, he has a stone axe. He has an old crown. 10C. Value 4C. Okay. So they have like a little inventory. I like that. I like that. Let's fast forward. They're all sleeping. Their new home. I heard something. It's some rustling over here. How long do they need to sleep? My little inventory over here. Oh yeah, we're killing you. 
Yeah, we're, we're hunting you, buddy. Gather mineral, build seven, store 17, hunt one, clean three. I love that they have this little order of things. Love that. That's super cool. Woods, because he's the ruler, he's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm chill, dude. I'm chill. If only I could name the characters. I would love to be able to name the characters, but I know why you can't. Chummer, we need more wood. Ah, yes. Fallen logs are a good source of wood, too. Mark, if you ever gather, we'll chop them up. We'll do. Okay. So let's do that. Let's do this, 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 this. Let's just clean up the area around us so we can start getting, getting things ready for, you know, our building. We have a lot to do. So much to do. Stone. Copper. I think I've mined some copper, right? I have travel meals. I have coins. I have coin seeds. I have underripe meal beans. Ew. Raw meat. Cooked meat. Wood. Copper. Yeah, I do have copper. Okay, cool. Cotton bush. Let's forge it. Be nice to have some cotton. Dense grass. Yeah, get rid of those. Issue direct orders. Select a character. Right click location. Go to. What? Oh. So what it's telling me is I can like influence them. Um, Forge. Oh, use advanced selection techniques. Shift left click, left click and drag. Double click. Oh, oh, okay. Well, about that. I keep pressing one because I'm used to it being the default speed, like the slow, like the regular speed, but it's not. It's the slow speed. I like that everyone's. Johan can level up. Nice. I like that everyone's going, like, moving everything into the actual storage area. Johan! I should probably build, like, an actual building for that storage, too. Level 2. Max health, 18. Nursing, 1. Building, 1. Ranching, 1. I should probably build a little building for this, too, because, honestly, who wants their storage outside? Let's do that. Let's build, uh... Let's build a little, you know, like a little storage. I did it again. I, I selected the, the wrong thing again. Uh, right there. There we go. Everybody eat. Everybody eat. Cut them out. Cut them down. And choose to cut down everything. So, we finally caught up to you, Cesar Woods. Oh no. Did you think Chieftain Cat is going to let you leave the Elven Graves without consequences? We won't rest until you pay for your treachery. Prepare to die. The Elven Graves are raiding us. Oh, whoa. New objective command the battlefield. Select members of your kingdom. Okay. Enlist selected characters. Oh, push hostiles. Hold position. Right click target. Yeah, but I don't know. Where, I don't know where. Where they? Oh, this guy. This guy. This guy. Go. Go get him, folks. Oh no, trees out of the way, and he's our highest level character too. Oh no, woods. No, not like this. Oh, good block. Good block. Oh, Woods taking him out. Oh, Johan just murdering. Oh, and then Woods comes in and just goes bow, 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 bow. Yeah. Nice win there. Nice win. Oh, he's downed. Wait, wait, wait. He's downed, but he's not dead. 
Wait, 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 wait. Okay, Johan. What are your what are your jobs? You're a great firefighter. Can you recruit by chance? Um Soothe, transport, execute, capture. Can we capture him? Yeah, let's capture him. Captured. So now what? Oh, do we heal them? Oh, we should probably have a prison, shouldn't we, before we do that? Oh, yeah, we should probably have a prison. Yeah, instead of them <laughs> sleep in our beds. Wow. Okay, let's do that. Wait, how does that, how does the floor work? Does it just float? Okay. I mean, I'm not going to argue. Floating floors are nice. I've played Minecraft before. I know how this works. Actually, you could build some really interesting structures with this. You know? Like, this could turn into some really cool structures. What does that look like? A window? Is that a window? No, that's a wooden wall. Type window. Oh, it is a window. To the window. Sorry, I'll shut up. Um, structure doors. Wood. I should probably put roofs on everything. I'm going to forget roofs a thousand times. I swear to you. Yeah, I'm going to forget roofs like a thousand times. I'm used to being spoiled where roofs are just built for you. You know? Boom. There we go. Yeah, we really got to <coughs> Chief Chief and Cat declared war. What's he doing? Equipping torches. Relaxing. Uh, can I assign these? I can't. Okay, cool. Can he escape? Manage prestige. Left click. Belong belongings tool. Oh. Hi. Your kingdom, Sars Woods. Prestige, 23. Wait, but what does it? Oh, excuse me. Wow. Wait, so what do I do? I love that they got beat up. Look at their faces. They're still like all bloody. Uh, give. Take. I don't get what this this prestige is. His ambition's so low, but the other two are so high. So am I giving these new people? Oh, okay. I don't get that part, but okay. I will need another bed in here for the prisoner. I say, I wonder if there's way to ways to assign things, you know? Oh, he's going over our beds. That little butthead.
Oh, yeah, they kicked him out. They kicked him out. Love it. There's only one person that's... Yeah. Oh, God, look at the woodcut. He's going crazy. He's going ham. Burnt tunic's powerful. I captured Ellie. It is sterile where I am. Isn't imp leather so good? There are a few things worse than pig leather, but only a few. Yay, go tree. Dude, tree is murdering it right now. Look at this. He's going crazy. Max level one, max health plus three, range two, logging two, crafting one. Choose level five ability. Rolling level five ability. Wait. That's a nuke. Wait, no, that's a tree. Choose green thumb ability. Target foliage exper experiences full growth cycle in 15 minutes. Five tower range. Five. Wait. These are actual abilities they can use. Relevant skills. Forging one, farming one, logging two. Relevant assigned jobs. Plus two nursing skill for two hours. Permanent plus two to ranching skill. Oh, so he just gets plus two to the ranching skill. What is he a? Is he a rancher already? He likes ranching. I'm gonna the green thumb ability. So does he just get to use his ability at any time he wants? Okay, I guess prestige is like their five day cooldown after use. Five top range. Target full age experience is full growth cycle in 15 minutes. That's pretty freaking cool. He has to admit that. Okay, I see what's going to happen here. Wait, actually, Johan? Uh, free. Go to Ellie. Can we ask him to imprison Ellie? I have to get all this. I have to get all this built up first. I am absolutely relaxed. Yay! You have to speak to your people. Left click ruler. Okay, that's me. Right click speak. Someone to talk to. Speak to tree. What's on your mind? What's in your mind? I hate the Elven Graves because the Elven Graves are at war with us. Oh. Advanced topics. Ask about. Ask about them. What can you tell me about yourself? Hats are okay, I guess. Chummer, I'm worried about our food stores. Doesn't this mean animals for us to hunt? I'll take care of it. Yes. I think I designated an animal to kill, didn't I? Octoberberry bush. I thought I already assigned some animals. Okay. Well. Oh, there's a cow. Aggression, 15%. Let's hunt them. What does that say? Need bow. Oh. Okay, let's not hunt them. Health 9 at 12. Different. So he's different. So he's... He's becoming charmed by our amazing grace. Wait, who's ship? Oh, that's a member. Storing travel meat. Oh, it's a pig. Oh, that's a poor. Wait, what? what's his level at? 25, level 8, XP 0, melee, ranged 1. He has a bow, doesn't he? Foraging it. Plus we to forage this for two hours. Oh. We could, everyone comes in here. I prefer medium kingdoms. Well, I prefer you get the hell out of my small kingdom then. <laughs> Uh, so this is going to be Noble Fates. I'm really, really intrigued by it. Uh, it is super cool. I, I really love the aesthetics of it. Uh, it. I think that it has some it has some rough edges here because, you know, it, it hasn't been released yet. It comes out December 14th, which is a few days from now. But I feel like this is definitely a really, really fun game. And I think this is like 
they've taken the idea of what of the, the genre that RimWorld has made so popular and they're just advancing on it and i love to see that um as you see i'm building my two-story love house over here which is awesome so the big thing that i want to know and if you guys get into this inside the uh the the uh, comments have made this far do you guys like building in these kind of games separate houses or do you guys just build one house like one big base um i know some people love connecting all their bases together and it's some like separate homes i don't know it's kind of different i'm not sure which one who loves what or whatever uh it's just something fun to, to know you know what i mean so uh definitely check it out there's a lot of really cool things we get to build over here there's work there's bench work work benches and stuff like that so definitely something i want to dive more into during the stream which i probably i'll probably end up going live early tonight to dive more into this game because i'm actually i'm having a lot of fun with this game so double check it check it out guys the links are below along with all my links as well just in case you want to hook up and hang out uh definitely come out come by and check out the stream too i'd love for you guys to come check out all right folks thank you so much for coming in and i'll see you guys in the next one peace